What's up you guys? I am Kelsey Wells and I am so excited to be here via Pop Sugar today to bring you this glutes and hamstrings session. Our session today is like a condensed version of a power at home workout. We are going to be doing a brief warm up, one superset, a three exercise circuit, one move burnout, and a brief cool down. If you don't know the form for our exercises today, just listen and watch me. I will teach you, I will cue you along the way, give you modifications, advancements. Wherever you are at on your fitness journey, I'm gonna meet you there and we're gonna do this together. All you're gonna need today for our session is yourself, some water, and a band. If you don't have a band, you can do it without. All of the exercises can be done with or without. It just adds a little bit extra resistance. So without further ado, let's get into it. We're gonna begin with a one minute of cardio for our warm up. so 60 seconds right now. We're gonna jog in place. <sighs> nice deep breaths. Just getting our heart rate up, getting our muscles warm. One minute of cardio. And jumping jacks. Deep breaths. Back to the running. A little bit faster this time, pick up the pace. Jumping jacks for our last 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna move right into some dynamic stretches. Let's start in the high plank position. And I want you to lean back into down dog. High plank. Stretch back into down dog and let's pump our calves. Doing some warm ups prior to your exercises. Obviously helps you get warmed up and ready to work out, but also helps prevent injury, improves range of motion. Just about halfway. Breathe deep. You should feel a nice stretch throughout the back of your legs here. 10 more seconds into that high plank and send it back one more time. Three, two, and one. Beautiful, you guys. All right, jump or step back in. It is time to begin our session with our superset. Our superset today if you aren't sure what a superset is, it is two exercises done consecutively and then you rest afterwards. So we're going to do squat and pulse and a glute bridge and opening. So this is where I want you to put your band on. If you have one that's open-ended like I did, you just tie the ends together. Put it just above your knees and we are going to begin in the sumo squat position. So. Our, we're gonna do 30 seconds each exercise and then rest for 30 seconds. So we're going to start our 30 seconds of squat pulses right now. And pulse. For squat form, of course, you wanna keep your knees in line with your toes. Chest nice and proud, core nice and strong. Beautiful. 30 seconds right here, this is Superset one. Five, three, two. All right, go down supine. So we are just lying on our back, facing up. Palms gently pressed into the floor. I want your heels to be about eight to 10 inches from your butt. Squeeze, open, and down. You're lifting straight through your hips. Open while you squeeze, and back down. Up, squeeze, and down. 10 seconds. To modify, just simply take out the opening. Three, two, one. Nice work, you guys. That was first lap of superset. We're gonna do two more. Grab a drink if you need one. And then get ready for our squats. So everybody stand back up when you're ready. 
Sumo squat position, so I want your feet slightly wider than shoulder width. And we're gonna start in just about 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Squat with a pulse. Feet slightly wider than shoulder width, toes slightly pointed outward, knees tracking right in line with your toes. You wanna drive your knees out, especially if you have that band on and shoot through your heels as you come up. Really targeting those glutes with these sumo squats. Pulse, three, two, one. All right, back down, straight into our glute bridge and opening. Palms pressed gently on the floor. Core is strong, open, together, down. I really want you to squeeze throughout the opening and back down. Nice, you guys, 10 seconds. Five, four. Beautiful. Only one more round of the superset. So this time, our last time doing these exercises, I want you to do better than you did before. I want you to really focus on the mind-muscle connection, focus on those glutes burning, Slow and steady, perfect form. One more round of this. Everybody back up for those sumo squats. All right, last set. And 30 seconds starts now. Pulse and up. Driving those knees out with that band. The modification, simply take out the pulse. Your core is nice and strong. Your lats are engaged behind you. Chest is nice and proud. <sighs> 10 seconds. Three, two, last rep. One, all right. Glute bridge and opening right into it. You know the form. Lift, open, together, down. Lift, open, down, a modification, simply take out the opener and just lift, squeeze, and down. Lift. Beautiful. 10 seconds. Up, open, squeeze, and down. Three, two, one. Well done, all right. We just finished our superset. So next in the power session is the circuit. Today's circuit is going to be a three exercise circuit. What we're going to do, these are three glute isolation exercises that are all low impact. This is one of my favorite circuits to do for the glutes and the hamstrings. You will really start to feel it. Not only exercise after exercise, but each lap after lap is going to grow and build. It burns so good, I am so excited. So we're gonna go through this. Fire hydrants, donkey kicks, and glute kickback pulses. So we're going to stay really in the same position the entire time, doing slightly different things with our legs. Every single exercise is unilateral, so we'll do one side and then the other, all right? I will tell you when to switch sides. If you're unsure of the form, watch me, listen to me. I'm gonna take us right through. So about 10 more seconds of our rest. I want you to come into this tabletop position on your knees. Your whole entire body is a statue except for your legs throughout these movements. So the first one is a fire hydrant. We're gonna start our timer at 45 seconds right now. And you're simply opening up one knee to the side. It is not about how high you can go. We don't wanna be tilting our hips too much. It's just this very slight movement. Your core is strong, your shoulders are strong. Beautiful. Next side, or other side. Nice, slight movement. Really isolating those glutes. Don't forget to breathe, we have 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, into our donkey kicks. So what I want you to do is place your band underneath your standing knee so it doesn't fly up on you and we're going to do donkey kicks. So you're kicking with your heel flexed, bring that knee back down to the other knee and kick. 
Again, it's not about kicking super high. We don't want to arch our back. We want to keep that core nice and strong. Everything is steady. And other side. Beautiful, breathe through it. Slow, controlled movements. Eight, nice. About three seconds. Give me one more rep. All right, stay in this position. We're going right into our kickback pulses. Switching legs again. This, I don't wanna go super high again. Everything's nice and strong and steady. Very small little pulses right here. You'll probably feel it in your standing leg glutes as well. Glute. And other side. Breathe through it. Slow, controlled, small pulses. 10. And three, two, Beautiful. All right, we are resting. Woo, grab a sip of water if you need one. We're going to do two more laps of that exact same circuit. Again, nice and low impact. There's no jumping in this workout. High intensity is not the only way to build strength or to get an excellent workout at home. So, whoo, about 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna get right back into it with those fire hydrants. All right, I want you guys Join me again. I want your wrists in line with your shoulders. Core nice and strong. And 45 seconds starts right now. Open. Beautiful. Slight movements. Everything is strong and steady. We're not rocking back and forth. Get ready for the other side. Right now, switch. Nice. Feel that burn. It's about to go to the next level. And three, two, give me one more rep. All right, donkey kicks. Place that band underneath your standing knee and we're kicking up. Everything else is nice and steady, nice and strong. Yes. We don't want any dramatic kicking. Again, slow, controlled. Other side. Yes, I know it burns, you got this. Under 10 seconds left. Three, two, glute kick back. Switching legs yet again, staying in that same position. Whew, deep breaths. Beautiful, shoulders nice and strong, core nice and strong. Neck is in neutral spine. And we're switching sides. Right now. You're resting after this, so don't quit on me yet. Push, push, push. Breathe, just focus on your breath. Nice, 10, nine, eight, two seconds. Beautiful. Oh, it feels so good, right? <laughs> you might be feeling this in the morning, especially if you haven't done any glute isolation work lately. All right, a brief rest right now. I'm gonna get a drink myself. One more lap of our circuit. We know how to do the exercises. We've done them twice already. This is your last opportunity to do them in this circuit. So I'm gonna do them better than the previous two circuits, okay? And get back into position for those fire hydrants. Make sure your band is ready. Everything's tight, everything's strong, deep breath. 45 seconds, go. Mm. 
Nice. Slow and steady, small range of motion. Getting ready to switch sides. Other leg. Nice, I want you to focus on the mind muscle connection. It's very real. Focus on those glutes, feel it in your glutes. Woo! Five, four, and donkey kicks. Nice, remember we're not kicking too high. You should feel it in your core, your shoulders, but of course your glutes. Other side, making sure that's secure. Breathe through it, 10 seconds. Three, two, right into our kickback pulses. This is the last exercise in our last set of our circuit today. I know it burns. Slow, steady breath, you've got this. Positive thoughts only, positive talk only in our lives, okay? Other side coming up. And switch. All right, push, push, final stretch right here. Go, go. Small controlled pulses, everything else is a statue, okay? Whew, deep breaths, we're so close, 10 seconds. Pulse, pulse, five, four, and yes. All right, grab a sip of water. Our circuit is complete. I'm leaving my band on because we're going to use it for our burnout. So all of my power sessions have burnouts um, between one and three, depending on what week you're on. Today we're doing one. A burnout in power is simply one exercise done for 60 seconds. So continuous time under tension to really exhaust the muscles that we have been training in our session today. Today, we're going to do squat walks and then some squats for our burnout. It's gonna be intense. I know your glutes are fatigued already. That is the point, okay? So everybody stand up. I'm not letting you rest for too long. Everybody get up. 60 seconds starts right now, okay? I want you to sink down into that single squat position and we're going to walk to the side together. Shift your weight, together. Shift your weight, and back. Keeping that nice low squat throughout. Now just sink into that sumo squat, and let's pulse. Woo, burnout, we are halfway, 30 seconds. You can do anything for 30 seconds, come on. To finish it off, a set of squats, up and down, up, and down. Come on, ladies. You've got this. I do not want you to quit. We are almost there. So close, 10 seconds. And for the last five seconds, I want you to pulse, pulse. Three, two, boom. That's a mini power session, but before I leave you, we've got to do a little bit of a cool down. So I'm just gonna take my band off. Woo! How good did that feel, you guys? <sighs> Big deep breath in. <sighs> We're gonna sink down in the middle right here. Stretch that posterior chain. <sighs> Gently pull yourself towards your legs. Walk to one side. <sighs> Beautiful. Over to the other side. And back to middle. I want you to squat down. Hold that low squat. And then we're going to go onto our backs. Stretch out those glutes. It's gonna feel so good. So lying supine on the floor. I want you to cross your ankle over opposite knee. Gently press that knee out. And breathe. I hope you guys had some fun today these low impact glute focused moves. Training in the gym is not the only option. I know so many of us are training at home right now. 
and you can do so and build strength and build confidence with little to no equipment. We switch to the other side, press, 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 feel that nice stretch, feels so good right now. And beautiful. Well you guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you Pop Sugar, I'm a huge Pop Sugar fan. I had so much fun guiding you through this workout today. I hope you loved it. Remember that you can train with me anytime. All of my training programs, the power programs, are available exclusively in the Sweat app, and you can find me on Instagram. I'm Kelsey Wells.